London, a playground for Russia's wealthy elite. Palatial homes, fancy cars, expensive shops. And critics say an ideal place for those close to Russian President Vladimir Putin to launder money. I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. An underground world that inspired this British crime drama. You're a gangster. Close. Banker. And a popular London tour. What the Russian regime has done is it's found the soft underbelly of British society. For years, London's dirty little secret has been quietly accepted. Until now. There is no place for these people or their money in our country. The calls to crack down came after a former Russian spy and his daughter were poisoned on British soil. British officials pointed the finger at Russia. And now lawmakers are considering travel bans, asset freezes, and forcing some rich Russians to explain their wealth. This does feel like a kind of turning point. Uh, this hasn't happened before. But getting tough may be difficult. The wealthiest Russians are connected and part of the fabric of British society. Why is it so common for Russians to park their money here in Britain? You can buy a beautiful property in the UK secrecy, like anonymously, without having to tell the law enforcement who you really are. One high-ranking Russian government official owns an apartment overlooking the River Thames. Can he afford this on his salary? Absolutely not. I mean, his stated salary is just over £100,000, and these properties are around £12 million. By one estimate, $130 billion in hidden money flowed into the UK over a decade, much of it suspected to be from Russia. Experts say by cutting off the money, it would hit those connected to Vladimir Putin where it hurts, their wallets. Tammy Leitner, NBC News, London. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.